I was asked to model a sand disc card and that's what I'm going to do for you tonight. So I will link you to this reference image and you can bring that into Blender, put that in there and just move it back a little bit in the Y. I'm looking from the front and so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to bring in a plane, rotate X90 and scale it up until we have the width. All right. I'm going to move it up to the top like this. I'm going to go into wireframe and I'm going to get rid of these bottom vertices so I have just these ones. Okay, now I'm going to extrude and I'm going to pull down to here. I'm going to extrude into here. I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to switch, make sure I'm on vertex for snapping and I'm going to extrude out and then I'm going to hover over that and press control and snap to there. Extrude down to this bottom corner here. Let's come over here and just maybe reduce the opacity of that a little bit. All right, that's a little bit better. Come down to there, extrude to here. And pull that up. I won't angle it yet. Come over to here. I'm going to extrude down, but I'm going to snap to this point. Maybe I'll move those over a little bit. Take that one. I'm going to extrude out to here. And what we'll do is we'll snap to this point. Extrude up. To about there, in, up. Okay, I'm gonna extrude out and I'll snap to this point and F to make a face. So that's what I have there. Now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna take these two points or maybe I'll take, I may move those both out. I'll take these two points and I'm gonna scale them in the X a little bit to get that shape. All right, so far so good. Now let's start beveling this. Let's do this one first, select that point. I'm going to press shift control B and pull. I'm not going to add any extra segments and I'm going to pull that down to there. Good. Now, this point and this one holding down shift and this one are slightly curved. So I'm going to bevel those. Shift control B pull there's two segments three four five and pull that in until I get a nice rounding effect now what we're going to do is we're going to go around we're going to bevel all of this stuff here so I'm going to box select all of that and I want to bevel those points just a little bit shift control B pull and I could probably get away with just three points and just make a small rounding let's do there Let's come across, deselect those, box select those, do the same thing, a little bit of rounding like, like that. And finally, down here, box select those, shift control B, pull, and just a bit of rounding. Okay, select it all. I think we've done what we need to. Ah, not quite. These two points. I don't want them that sharp. Shift control B with three and just do that. So everything should be just a little bit round. F to make a face. Now let's give this some thickness. I can go back into solid view. E to extrude, just come out a little bit. And we have that. Press three for face selection. That one is selected. Shift and click that one. So those two faces. And then get yourself a position in here and we're going to bevel the top and the bottom control b pull three is probably fine do that and then just look around it and make sure nothing has crossed over so we have this all right i'm going to select it all in alt n recalculate outside just make sure it's facing the right way all right let's create this part right here Let's take this face, 
Shift D to duplicate, pull it out, P to break it out. And let's look from the side. Okay, let's uh, let's go into wireframe and let's grab this and pull it up to about there. Let's pull start pulling that in. Let's scale that in the Z and just position it. All right, let's extrude out to here. Good. And now let's press I to inset, pull it in, watching those vert vertices till they get about there. You do extrude and pull that out, and that's going to be just fine, like that. All right, let's slash key to focus on that, and press 3 for face selection and X faces. And then in edge selection number two, shift alt and click there, 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 and there. And let's give this a little bit of a bevel, control B. Three is, is fine. Uh, let's shift alt and click there and there. And let's bevel that. And I often like to just bevel this one as well for supporting loops. Let's come in and alt and recalculate outside just in case. And take the whole thing and just pull it in. Right. Maybe I will take this and scale it in the Y just a little bit as well. So we have that piece there. Okay. Now let's do the indentation in here. So my 3D cursor is still right there. Let's shift A, mesh plane, rotate X 90. I'll pull that out in front. Good. Okay. Wireframe, scale this up until we get the right width of that. And then we'll take this edge, pull it up to the top, just above where it curves. And this edge down to there. Okay, press one for vertex selection. We're gonna bevel these, select it all. And uh, shift control B, pull. There's three, I'm gonna go for five vertices. Select the whole thing. We'll go back into solid view. I'm gonna extrude it back. And we're gonna use this as a cutting tool. The polys are flipped. So Alt and recalculate outside. I'm gonna pull that in until it's embedded into the card. Let's select the main body now and add a Boolean with difference and select this and apply. We can get rid of that. We now have an inset. It's a little hard to see that. So let's bevel that edge. So I'll come in, I want to select a bit here. I'm going to press Control and it'll come down to there. Control over there, Control up to there, and Control up to there. So we should have just the outside. Control B, pull, and let's roll. There's two, three is probably sufficient. And now I can see that quite a bit better. All right, there's also an indentation right there. So let's do that. Let's come in here. And I'm going to select an edge. It's already central and I can use that. Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to pull it out. P to break it out. And I'm going to look in wireframe. I'm going to bring this down. I'll bring it down to about the bottom of this indent here. I'm going to scale it. So it's about the right width. Extrude to there. Let me scale that in the Z just a little bit. Okay, that's all right. Let's round these off now. All right, so we get this roundness. Uh, I can just focus on one. I'm gonna press um, Shift Control B and start pulling. I'm gonna press C for clamp so that it won't overlap. So that's as far as I can go and then roll my mouse up a few times so it's nice and round like that. Okay. Go back into solid view. I'm going to extrude back. And I want this a little bit rounded like this so I'll bevel this. Control B and pull. Let's do that again. Actually, before I do that, because I use clamp, I have to go M, merge by distance, and then I'll get rid of a few vertices. Yeah, otherwise the bevel doesn't work. So select that face now. Control B and pull. And let's see. 
there's the two, three, four, four, five is good enough. Okay, let's take this and uh, you know what? I think I want a bit of a deeper bevel than that. So I'm going to do that. Push that whole thing into there and let's make sure it's facing the right way, but we copy it outside. Let's take the main body now, add a Boolean difference, select that and apply and get rid of that and we have our indent. Let's take this and shade smooth. I'm going to have some shading issues. Let's put on weighted normal and normals auto smooth. And there is our card pretty much. All right. So uh, I'm not going to do any modeling on the back. What we'll do now is let's go over to the shading tab and let's just select the main body here and click new and I'm going to call this body. I'm going to do this really simply. We're just going to make this a dark almost black color and uh, maybe we'll decrease the roughness a bit. And that's really all that I want to do for this. Uh, you can add noise if you want, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it flat black like that. Uh, we could take that and uh, let's call that, call it button. Call that button and then just choose a color for that. I'll just make it a little bit more grayish. We'll drop the, drop the roughness a bit. Okay, I can take that actually and join that together. And the final thing, uh, I'm going to do in UV editing. I'm going to look from the front and I'm going to select this face and I am going to press U, project from view. I'm also going to create a material for this. I've got body and button. I'm going to click the plus and new and I'm going to call this label and assign. So that makes sure we assign that. And the image I'm going to use, I come, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to press Shift A, texture, image texture, drop that down there. Press Control T, and so it will come out of the UV into there. And I've already got the image uh, loaded as a reference image, so I'm just going to select that and drag that into the base color so you can see that there. Let's come back to UV editing and make sure that we can view it here. And now I'm just going to manipulate this. I'm going to grab these upper vertices and I'm going to press G, Y and pull them up to near the top of this block. Select these ones, G, Y, pull it to the bottom. Select these ones, G, X, pull them out. And select these ones, G, X, and pull them out to about there. Okay, let's go back to layout with this. Let's get rid of this. I don't need that on anymore. So there's the label. And if you want, you can come into the label itself here. Uh, make sure we're on label and you can you can drop the roughness. Uh, you can add some clear code 0.3, let's say, just because it is a label and maybe it's a bit shinier. And uh, and that's and this is what we get. All right, it's all one piece. So we can take that, we can pull that up. I can make a collection out of that. I'll just call this card. And I'll go Shift A, Collection Instance Card. I'll have another one there. I can rotate that in the Z. I'll copy that. Rotate X. And just to have a few different cards here and there like that. And we can try different, different views. Let's turn that off. All right, and there are the SanDisk cards. Okay, so that's one way that you could do it and it's pretty straightforward. All right, so uh, yeah, download the reference image and give it a try and uh, thanks for watching.